Hey everyone, I'm Kyle Lyon. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a quick little demo of how to get uh, data from uh, Aviva Edge up into our cloud repository, uh, which is Aviva Insight. So essentially what we're going to be going over here is just this kind of connection. So from the Edge, using the Insight Publisher, up through the firewall, which you can configure, and straight into Insight. So uh, it's pretty easy to get started. All you do is just as you would do uh, within any other Edge application, you go to your trends to configure your, your historical values. And you can see here, I'm in the demo app. So this is already uh, going to a proprietary file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change this to historian. I'm gonna hit historian configuration. And I'm gonna select a connection type. You can see here by default, I've got it set to Insight Publisher. So I'm going to hit OK on that because the default settings are all I need. And then I'm going to hit Save and close that. Next, there's a small little program within Edge's file structure that I'm just going to need to go and establish that connection in. So I head into Program Files, Viva, Bin, Database Gateway, enter the stale server. What it's going to do is it's going to open a small program in the system tray that I'm just going to unhide because it's hidden by default. And now I'm going to set up that connection. So I'm going to call it edge to insight. Hit add and we're going to open up the insight publisher. So I'm going to select what region my insight solution is in, which is Europe. And then I'm just going to log on. If you don't have an account already, it will ask you uh, if you want to make one and set up a solution i'm just going to the 45 day free trial that anyone can sign up to and do for this you can see it inside demo and i'm going to give my data source a name so i'll keep the same name all the way through and hit publish now that's done i can minimize that and launch the app into runtime just to start that simulated data going through. You can see here that's already started now. So then if I take us through to my blank insight solution and head into administration, what I should see now is that a data source has been created called Edge to Insight. X that and then you can see it's last updated a few seconds ago. So in the background, what this will be doing right now is just going through and building up a small tag dictionary uh, with the tags that I've got in. So let's see if those tags are now accessible. Uh, if I choose site, that doesn't look like they're available just yet. So what's happening at current is if I head back into administration, it's building up a tag dictionary. You can see my tag usage is now at eight tags, which is just what I've uploaded then. And now we've just got to wait for those tags to be consumed by Insight, uh, have their appropriate metadata mapped, and then moved into the tag dictionary. So let's head back to home and see if those are start coming through yet. So I know that one of them is a sine wave. And yep, that looks like that start coming through now. So if I want to view this in a chart, I can yeah, refine and make it over the last hour. And you can see here that we've started getting a nice sine wave coming through from Edge. Simple as that. So that is pretty much the whole connection process. Um, very easy, very straightforward. And then you've got that data up there in the cloud. So you can start making some content with it just like this.